Hello everyone, my name is Eric and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to create an Instagram story using Figma. All right, let's dive right in. First up, we're going to create our frame using the default social media frame size Instagram story in Figma. That's 1080 by 1920 in width and height. Then here, I'm just going to grab a, an old design that I made for the Facebook page banner. I'm gonna paste it in so that I can reuse the elements from before. So I'm just gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna paste it in again. Okay. Right. Let me see what I can do here. Um, I'm just gonna grab grab the circle. Okay, make its size a bit bigger. I'm gonna get the main background. Okay, pasted it and uh, just gonna resize it. Put it behind the circle. So basically, here uh, forward is just uh, us designing. There's no rules here now. The main one is just. Instagram story frame that we got from Figma, the default one. So this is the size and this is what we're going to use. Again, from here on, it's just me playing around with the text and the elements that I normally use on my branding. You can do so with your own. You can choose any color or text that is within your brand. So first up, I'm going to put the ch check out my YouTube channel. Gonna make this a bit bigger. Oh, that's too big. I'm gonna reduce the line height a bit. Yeah, this looks better. Move around the circle a bit. I'm not too happy where it's at. But let's see how it looks. Reducing the text size. Maybe trying to separate the check out my and the YouTube channel. So as you can see in the left, the panel on the left, it's two text elements there. There's check out my and there's YouTube channel. This way I can easily uh, change the colors or the properties of this text. Okay, I'm still thinking really what I'm going to do here. I'm just I think it's best to put in my name, or to be honest. This has to be a bit smaller and maybe I'll try a different um, font style. But I mean, still, it's gonna be still bison, but maybe a thinner, thinner version of it. Yeah, maybe regular. Let's see how it's looking. And um, I'm gonna grab the YouTube icon, so I'm I went to plugins, went to Iconify. That's a plugin that's already installed in my system. If you don't have it yet, you can easily just go to communities, community, and then find that plugin. It's called Iconify. It's very convenient. It's one of the most used plugin for me because I'm just going to grab icons from there easily. See, this one I just typed in YouTube and then I get a free icon, which I can use in my artwork. That's it. Again, there are no rules here. It's just the Instagram story part of this is just the uh, the dimensions of the frame. But what you do inside, there are no rules actually. So I'm just uh, looking for a good alignment and a good enough for me alignment for the for this test. 
Okay, you noticed how that when you drag an element and your uh, mouse is outside of the frame when you're dragging it, it goes outside of the frame as well. So that's how Figma works. Like when you drag also an element back inside the frame, you just easily just drag it in. Okay, I'm still not too happy with my fonts and my layout, but. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I think this one's good enough. I don't even know yet at this stage what I'm gonna write. I think I'm just creating stuff. Basically, for us, it's just an ex exercise of uh, doing layouts, doing tags. It's, it's something we're doing for fun right now. It's nothing too, too serious, to be honest. So I'm gonna try to put this um, Red lines, these are actual lines, they're not guidelines. They're different from the ruler guidelines that you drag from the sides of the ruler. These are actual lines, which I made it in red. And opacity is 45%, so it's very thin. You barely can see it. But again, it's an actual line. This one's the circle. increase the opacity a bit so yeah I'm gonna grab some more elements from from my previous banner make it bigger move it around let's see if adding a vertical line would help this is good enough okay I'm just gonna go to my other previous work I'm gonna grab one of photos of me okay I think this one works I'm gonna put it in so what I did is I went to an old project copied it like command C or control C and then just paste it here uh, this image is a transparent background by the way so I can move the entire elements up yeah and maybe move the circle down link in bio if you notice I tried um, using a different uh, font family altogether it's zero basic because bison doesn't have uh, smaller le smaller letters So I scaled that one in. Okay, I'm just gonna change the color, put the line underneath it, make sure they're the same angle. Yeah. 
I don't know, I'm not too happy with this, but let's see. Let's just go with it. Hmm. So yeah, that's it. That's our Instagram story. Huh. Yeah, I think it looks better without an angle anyway. Let's put it here. Have to align it. Move it a little. I'm sure it was hazy on the left. Yeah, so you can also do a little bit of image editing in Figma. I mean, it's nothing compared to Photoshop, but it's good enough. It has some of the basic ones. And that's it. Here's our Instagram story. Th those other two, I just made them separately out of the video, but you can do it yourself as well. Thanks for watching.